everybody, welcome back. I've got a journal completed. Um, this is a guest design team project for uh, Louise Hensel on Etsy. Um, I'll put her shop link in the description box below along with the kit that I've used. Um, she contacted me, you know, a while back um, and asked me about working with her and I said I'd love to because I, I have worked with her designs before and they are absolutely gorgeous. This particular one is Blueberry Morning which I've not used before um, and I just love it. It's uh, You may have seen it with uh, other artists here um, that have showcased it but I I just wanted to, to play around with this one so um, that's what I've done. So again this is a tiny well, it's not a tiny, I, I'd call this a mini journal. It's about uh, four and a quarter by six and a quarter. It's a one signature, and this has been made, created uh, using a envelope. So I cut the envelope down, and then I've added the papers, and then I've um, went over it with beeswax and a lot of stitching. <clears throat> and then here, is one of the images from the kit and I love that very vintage and then I've just added a book plate and uh, an old mother of pearl button isn't that beautiful the way I hope you can see how that it kind of picks up the grays but then you've got some of the purple coming out so if you like purple this will be um, a journal for you um, because it's got a lot of ch different shades of purples and lavenders in it, which I love. So lots of laces there. The closure is Sorry Silk, and it's a really um, soft lilac. And as I said, this is a one signature, but um, there's a lot of writing space in this, and isn't it just beautiful? I love these um, papers so much. So here on the front, I've created a a double pocket and this is one of the elements from the kit which I think is gorgeous so I've made a little tag out of that and then I've just um, I've added this is an old um, it's a tea and coffee card but this is from Canada which is I've not ever run across these before but I happen to um, find these at a flea market and I got a whole um, box of them and when I got home I was really surprised to see it's the red rose and blue ribbon tea and coffee um, so you know if you know anything about those pass on any information but I just think they're so sweet and of course it had to go in here because of the purple and so this is one of the elements and I've just cut it in half because of the size of the journal and then I stitched some tea dyed paper to the back and then I stamped and the story begins. And then here, um, you've probably seen these in my journals before, I like to do these. And this is just a little punch I've got with some cheesecloth and then there's burlap. I'll try to give you a close up. Some uh, brads and then this is, is um, two butterflies so that they will lift up so you've got the dimension. I like that in my journals. Okay, so this flips over. Here she's giving you these banners so I made a little tuck spot there and then this is something from my stash and I've just added a little purple stamp. Uh, that was gifted to me from Tracy so thank you Tracy for that. And then I made a little cluster there um, and then this flips over again. So I've made a little tag here with one of my, that's a Tim Holtz wildflower um, dye if you're interested. I think most people have seen those by now and I've backed this with some tea dyed grid paper. And then on this one, this is one of the journal cards that you get in the kit. I use that to make another pocket and another little handmade tag. So yeah, <coughs> lots of purple in here. Um, just love it, love it. This has all been um, hand torn and stitched to dyed paper. So it's kind of, you know, two 
weights of paper, so it's pretty sturdy there. Um, I just like the look of that. I, I like to be able to see the other behind. Um, so here I've done a little flip up with another one of the images that's been stitched to tea dyed paper. I've done some stamping. And then in here, this is one of the journal cards from the kit. So that's been inked around. And then this is just some from my stash. And I did a bit of decoupage there and an old piece of um, lace from my stash. Old ledger paper. Uh, vintage book page. And then here I've just did some punching and then layering and stitching. And then I made this little tag out of a printed out uh, postcard. And again, I've made this butterfly dimensional. So you've got some writing you can do on the back there. A lot of writing space, even if it is, you know, a small journal. And then, <clears throat> you know, I have to add my envelopes because I've got hundreds of them. <laughs> Another very old uh, mother of pearl button there that I've sewn to that little snippet. And then in here I made a little journal card with some scraps from it. I've cut out little tabs. So lots of little, little extra handmade journal cards and tags. Stenciling I've done. Um, here I've made a little ruffle, and then I've just taken bits and pieces, um, little beads and things, and added to the bulb pin there. And this is a tea dyed index card. And then here I've just added another um, Tim Holtz photo die, and it's just loaded with various things that coordinated really nicely with this. I tried to keep uh, everything with the purple theme because I love it. And this was a um, placed onto a Edith Holden book page and then I did the stamping so you've still got the Edith Holden page back here. I added some handmade paper to this journal because I like the feel, I like the different texture of papers and then also it's it would serve for uh, anyone that wanted to add some mixed media to it. And an, another <clears throat> nature, vintage nature book page some old uh, notebook paper I've got, more grid paper that's been stamped on that side, and then I stencil on this one. Here, another little tag I've made and added a little butterfly, so he would be dimensional, and then another snippet with various bits from my stash. And then the center of the signature, I've added these little glass beads, and they're lavender, and then this is an envelope that I've stitched around to create pockets, and that holds the little tags in there. And I like the contrast of that, um, the Rubios T against those pages. I think that looks really nice. I love these pages. Just such a beautiful design. Some more stenciling here. Um, here she gives you these little corners and I just opted to make a double pocket here and then this is just bits. Um, this is a journal card from the kit and then this was some scrap and I've just added, you get the little um, tape measure and I added that to make a tab and then I just stamped that so that's another little tiny journal card. And again, um, Edith Holden page, and then some more little dangles there in purple. I love that. I think it's beautiful with the colors. So here I've got another journal card with um, <clears throat> another of the Tim Holtz wildflower die cuts. Little tab there. So. And this is some of the um, images from the kit, and I've just torn them out inked them, and then added those so they're layered up. And again there, some more image from it. And this pocket, I've got another tag. I love that stamp. I'd recently picked those up at um, 
I should, well, not recently. It's been probably six months ago, but I've just used that today, and it's a Prima old frame. I'm sure it's a very old stamp set because you could tell by the packaging, but the image is just beautiful. And here's another little journal card I made with some cheesecloth behind it, so that's tucked in there. I do love how these pockets have come out because I've got <coughs> three layers of uh, the grid paper on there and then inked it so it really stands out. And then here I've made this belly band using some of the papers and then <coughs> some of my, that I've got an old uh, crocheted uh, doily that's just beautiful to pull apart <laughs> and add my little buttons to it. And then here I've made a tag, and that's got um, pattern paper, sewing pattern paper, one of the images, <clears throat> and then back here I've turned that into a little tuck spot, and this has been backed with tea dyed paper as well, so that just tucks in here. And then the very back of it, I've made a um, coin envelope out of some craft paper, so you can add some more items there on the back. So I think the craft really goes nice with the purple. So it's another uh, very rustic um, style journal. This is the back of the, the journal. So yeah, I'm very happy with how that's come out. Um, thank you, Louise, for letting me uh, work with you in this fabulous kit. It's um, It's been a real pleasure creating this journal using those. So there you have it, guys. This is, um, this is uh, Documented. It's the name of this journal. And uh, it is for sale in my shop if you're interested. Um, I've got a few, hopefully a few more things to share with you guys. Um, very soon. So I hope everybody's having a great start to the week and um, yeah, that you're all having, you know, staying warm wherever you're at. It's turned a little bit cooler here. Not not cold, but um, cooler and I'm sure it's starting to change wherever you guys are at as well. So do take care and I'll be back very soon. Bye!